where I'm trying to go here, and this is something that I mentioned earlier, the current title holder of Miss Supernational did not lie. If you just go on Google and look for the four biggest pageants in the world, and I'm gonna do it in real time. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy, Luis Portellas, and for today's video, we have a very special one because we're gonna be talking about <laughs> my best friend in the world, Nawad, the director of Miss Grand International. Of course, unless you are new to the channel, you know that that is clearly a joke because I have been very vocal about Nawad on this channel. I had a few things to say about Miss Grand International 2021, about even Miss Grand International 2020. Uh, but anyways, that's in the past. Let's talk about the current subject. So, Nawad has really managed to be all over the news in like the pageant world, number one trending topic, uh, for all of the wrong reasons once again. And this is because he shaded Miss Earth and Miss Supernational. Now, what is kind of known because he has said many, many times that Miss Grand International is the number one pageant in the world, completely auto-proclaimed. But at this time, he is actually disregarding two of the major pageants in the world, Miss Earth and Miss Supernational. And during this video, I'm going to be telling you, you know, everything what happened, what's been said, what's been done. But I'll also give you my own opinion about this entire issue that at this point, it's an ongoing thing. We have seen him make this type of claims over and over again, and it's becoming a pattern which quite frankly it's starting to be a little bit worrying so if you enjoyed this type of videos please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day leave a like on my videos that it gets recommended to more people and last but not least let me know in the comment section what do you think about this entire situation i'm really intrigued to see what you guys think about it so without further ado let's get into today's video i really really hope that you enjoy Be strong. Be strong. Okay, everyone, so let's get right into it. Just a few days ago, the current title holder of Miss Supernational had an interview where she was asked what was the meaning of the words Supernational. Just being quite honest, as a new pageant fan, myself in the beginning, I did not understand the meaning of Miss Supernational, but she took some time to explain it. And she said that Supernational means uh, without borders, borderless, someone that is global, you know? Then she proceeded by saying that Miss Supernational is one of the four biggest pageants in the world. And of course, she mentioned those four pageants. But in Instead of me telling you all about it, I'll let you hear it from her own lips. Please explain to us what is Miss Supranational. Miss yeah. Supranational yeah. is one of the big five Grand Slam international pageants in the world. It's mm -hmm. together with um, Miss Universe, Miss World, Miss International, and Miss Earth. So um, mm -hmm. it's one of the big five. Mm -hmm. And the word supranational means without borders, um, global, ah. you know, all around the world. It seems like this clip really, really bothered Nawad because he took some time to address this on his Instagram story where he posted the following message where he said, I am very wonder, Miss Supra Earthquake, who will crown? Well, first of all, my number one tip is that if you are trying to be shady, if you are trying to be mean, if you are trying to bully someone, the first thing is please get your grammar right. <laughs> For some reason, Nawad felt the need to not only drag into this Miss Supernational, but also Miss Earth, who honestly, like the interview had nothing to do with Miss Earth. But for some reason, it seems like Nawad has this ongoing thing with uh, Miss Earth. Like there's some sort of like love-hate relationship because I think there's love in there because when you are so obsessed with someone, I mean, there's something going on. And of course, as you can imagine, this type of reaction from a director of an international pageant really set the community on fire. The clip of uh, the winner of Miss Supernational went viral pretty much at this point. Uh, and now people are talking about a lot of different things. Mainly the fact that Shanike Rabi wasn't saying anything wrong. If you do your research, if you do your due diligence, you will see that MGI, as of right now, is not considered to be one of the four biggest pageants in the world. But what's even more concerning here is that Nawad honestly seems to have no shame in bullying or slamming or shading any organization out there, any other pageant, any other candidate, any other national directors. There's really no boundaries. Things got even more heated when Coco Araya, who is the former Miss Grand Thailand 2019 and current national director of Miss Grand Thailand, took to her Instagram stories as well to say, I can't hear clearly. What did she say? Supermarket National? Where? And what did she buy? Who is she? For some reason, she thinks that she's funny. She tagged Nawad. She tagged another account uh, at Official Global Beauties. 
have never heard of them. But anyways, the point here is that she also jumped into the hate bandwagon, which honestly, she just kind of invited herself into the drama because definitely no one asked for her opinion. But of course, because everyone seems to be going against the current title holder of Miss Supernational, the current director of Miss Supernational, Andres Lake, also went on Instagram and he posted his own story shading Nawet. And this is what he had to say, you can't put a crown on a clown and expect a king. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> and just to kind of summarize, at this point, Nawat had even the nerve to repost uh, Coco's story on his own Instagram story. So it's just like, I mean, hate on top of hate and uh, it's just getting messy. And in the middle of all of the drama and all of that, I do have to mention that Miss Earth didn't even take the time to reply to all of this and I'm kind of glad that they didn't because honestly all throughout last year and this year I have really gained a lot of respect for Miss Earth and the institution that it is for what they represent. Lots of people complain about the virtual things and all of that but honestly they handle themselves in a level of professionalism that, that Nawad cannot even dream of. That's overall what's happening right now with you know the back and forth between the organizations, between the national directors, between the candidates uh, but where I'm trying to go here, and this is something that I mentioned earlier, the current title holder of Miss Supernational did not lie. If you just go on Google and look for the four biggest pageants in the world, and I'm gonna do it in real time. Okay, so four biggest pageants in the world. <laughs> there you go, is the first thing that comes up on Google. The big four or the big league pageants refers to the four major international beauty pageants for women. Miss World, Miss Universe, Miss International, and Miss Earth. Miss Grand International is nowhere to be found. And this is something that they just cannot seem to accept. They just keep on auto-proclaiming themselves, not only as one of the four biggest pageants, but as the biggest pageant in the world. And the thing is like, they haven't even proved themselves. Miss Grand International hasn't been around that long compared to most of these pageants. They have not built the reputation and the trustworthiness that an institution like this deserves to be called the number one pageant in the world. And what's even worse than that is that while doing this, Nawad and his friends keep on igniting a lot of hate and bullying and even putting countries against each other for the purpose of their own narcissism, of saying that their pageant is the best one in the world, that is the most popular, that has the most followers. And in reality, a pageant that is supposed to be all about peace and ending war is, if anything, igniting war within the pageant community and within the different fandoms. They keep on disrespecting institutions, national directors, and contestants who honestly don't even acknowledge them. Like, it, they, it's a little desperate at this point. Like, I'm starting to feel bad for them. And don't get me wrong, now what knows how to put a show? Miss Grand International, when you look at it from a show business perspective, is brilliant. It's so entertaining. It, the production is amazing. Everything is well put together. However, pageants are not just about the show. It's not just about what you present on stage. There is also an essence, a soul to the pageant that obviously Miss Grand International is lacking. If I feel like I want to watch a show, then I'll go to the circus, you know? That's not the reason why we watch Miss Grand International. And up until this day, although Miss Grand International has increased in popularity, you can still say that the decision-making is questionable, the judging is questionable, the advocacy is questionable, the treatment of candidates is questionable, and the pageant itself is polarizing, and you can tell that it just lacks soul and purpose. So my humble advice to Nawa, and Coco and the entire Miss Grand International organization is just have some damn respect for other people, for those who have been doing it before you, for those who have been doing it for decades and that have built a reputation for themselves. You cannot just be the new kid on the block and just claim like you are the cool one and you know everything and F everyone else because that's not how things work around here. You need to start by looking at yourself in the mirror and look at the things that you need to improve and work on in order to even make it into the top four of the pageants in the world. It's not something that you can just repeat and repeat once again until it becomes a reality because it will not happen. And if anything, I feel like the perception of Miss Grand International from the fandom point of view, like from the pageant community, they just see it as a joke. It's just an entertaining show. There is really no credibility when it comes to the judging. There is no credibility when it comes to how they, even they treat their candidates. Think of even this year, there was a scandal about the top five, one of the top five queens. I'm not even gonna get into that, but had some damn respect for yourself 
and for the pageant community as well. That is pretty much what I had to say about this entire thing, about Nawat's claim, about Coco's claim, about Andre's reply, and it's just honestly, I think like it's getting out of hand. There's really no reason why this institution should, you know, tolerate the bullying that is coming from Nawat's end. But anyways, I would like to know what you think about this entire situation. I will be reading your comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this type of videos, please show some support by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, as usual, you know that's the tradition of the channel. Come here and give me a hug because you know that I love you and that I appreciate you. And thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. Until I see you next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses, and I'll see you on the next one.